so guys with all this my chakra that i'm doing here eh, i got to the airport and it was that i missed my four o'clock flight and then mind you i have biometrics in the morning so the flight was shifted to um 8 p.m so i was at the airport for long guys from if i was from three o'clock to eight i was at the airport and we finally boarded around 8 30 so i had to wait yeah we finally got to abuja probably around 9 30 or so i think my mood was altered the moment i realized i missed my flight so i couldn't vlog much again but manage so we just arrived is there where i can switch my camera Okay, there's no way I can switch it. So. Hi guys, sorry I did not I, I couldn't continue with the videos to keep you guys um updated but I, we bought it quite late. I think around eight um it was around eight um eight forty three or so something that was a flight that was supposed to be four o'clock they shifted it to seven o'clock and then last last year we ended up body around eight 30 something or 40 something i can't really remember i'm super super stressed i'm so stressed but i just want to eat i made sure i bought something luckily they don't even um, i'm so lucky that i stopped at the uh, chicken republic that i saw out there to buy um something to eat so I, i'm currently at an apartment or a hotel here in um, guarimpa because i i tried i made sure i got somewhere close to the tls here in abuja so that it's going to be easy for me to navigate you, you like to navigate and get there early in the morning and see what we're going to do and keep up with time so guys the whole like the, the whole the flight was was something else honestly i don't know i think there was a little turbulence in the air it was so shaky guys you need to see my heart beating i was praying i said hey you don't want to jack back me that want to jack by which day which day you are you guys this one is this plane is doing jiggy 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 oh i'm i thank god though i thank god it, we landed safely so i'm just going to the apartment i got is so it's very okay not really okay but it's manageable it's okay so i'm just going to be showing you guys around so you see so here is like just my bags bags and then this is what the room looks like it's not fancy not too fancy oh i like the versace bed sheets it's so classy i like the ba versace bed is it versace or versace anyone do the wardrobe and then the toilet i don't know if i can change the light so it's just something manage manageable it's okay so that's just it guys tomorrow i'll be going to to just get my and biometrics done and then see what we're going to do with the remaining days before i go back to you hi guys good morning so today is the day for my biometrics and i'm all set so i woke up really late so i couldn't even do a vlog before i get um, prepared for my day but this is me just taking my shower all set for my biometrics and i'm going to be heading out i ordered for an uber so still on the way so i'm waiting for the uber guy to come and then we head out so i'll be taking you along as much as i can i don't know if um um filming is allowed or videoing is allowed but i'll try my best to show you how the process looks like and then enjoy shall i <laughs>
Guys, I think we are here and they are attending to people here, so let me hurry up and see what we can do. I don't know, I'm always shy, so I'll, I'll try not to, to be shy and video, but if I can't, I'll just tell you by my mouth what, how it went. So... Hi guys, good morning. So today is the um, 29th of August and then I applied for my visa I think last week or first week of August. I, yeah. And then I did my biometrics in Abuja, IOM. The funny thing is <laughs> it's not up to even two weeks and the wait is tiring, guys. If you don't do, I think if you don't have the resources to do priority or super priority just be ready to wait just be ready to wait and then the thing is i i, I think it's safer if you're probably if you're going as an international student and then your your date is almost closed let's say a month close or three weeks close or so a month close basically i would advise you just um use priority or super priority because you don't you definitely don't know when your visa is going to be approved and when it's going to back and when it's going to get to you for delivery or get a decision made so you just have to wait so instead of dealing with all these uncertainties i would add i would even like i would add, in fact i was i said when i applied and i was waiting and i'm like I would have preferred to just close IA and just did priority. At least I know five days, six days, my visa is going to be approved and out than just waiting. But all these things are things you don't know. You but because you see I when I went for my when I went for my biometrics, I think I saw people like like eighty percent or let's say fifty percent of people there were opting for priority or super priority now i get the reason why if i was informed before even getting to abuja i'll probably have sourced the money for priority and then please get it done because you wait alone waiting and waiting and then surely for someone he's um um a september intake and the cost is starting on the 19th you just don't have that time to wait and then don't know don't know the uncertainties but then before then um, while i'm waiting i'm just going to try to get ready yes i'll be leaving with you finally on wednesday yeah i'll be leaving with you finally on wednesday and i'll be going to my sister's place in asaba and then i think i'm just going to do all the final prep other than that i've packed my stuffs like i've gotten all the food stuffs i need just basic products that i'll be getting when i'm full like my visa is out because i don't buy anything again so that visa is out so that is it guys i just wanted to update you guys and keep you posted and when i finally get a decision made or my visa is out i'm going to run here to tell you guys i've gotten my visa <laughs> hi guys welcome to my channel so today we are going to be going to Oron market so i want to get some crayfish and then some stockfish that one is very important so i'm going to Oron market because i heard the prices they are cheap and everything is quite um affordable there so come with me let's explore yeah. so i'm going to be using Kekke to go to uh, market. Uh, so i'm using Kekke my Kekke guys so yeah So hi guys, we are here, we are here, we are here, we are here. So this is the popular Oron uh, beach. Like, I can't imagine I would have left to you without even exploring this place. Guys, this place is beautiful. The, like, oh my God, this place is beautiful. So now we, we are not, we've not even gone into buying the items properly, but I said, let me just take you guys, let me show you guys how beautiful Uyo is. This place is so nice. 
it's so natural oh my god god finished work for year job so let me just turn my camera and show you guys what the, the, the beach looks like should i say it's a beach or a, i don't even know what it is but let me show you guys so guys here it is like so we have boats i think you can cross over to where i really don't know but this is what it looks like basically and i think some guys over there are trying to board a boat a, a, a what they call it a boat or something going to probably their another location you can see them down there guys god like i didn't know there's a big um should i call i don't even know what to call this place is there a notion or a river please drop a comment below if you know what they call this so oh my god it's so big i wish i had the nerves guys i would have entered a boat like i'll enter a boat and then take you guys along but i don't get mind yeah no get mind so i'll just try to go get as close as possible because anybody that enters there is gone hey god do Oh, but I see boats so. too. Oh, in a city. I don't know see a place like this. But they go enter boat too. Hmm. It's so beautiful. Oh, my little, little man. You want to check out that place? Ooh. <laughs> I know you before. The cold in this place is uh, not here. That one, give me 10. Ha. Ah. No. Guys, are you hearing the price part? How much one? You get the one where what is it for this one now? This one, how many pentas? No, no. You get the one where oh, they reach six. Uh, I'm going to make sure put now. Sorry. Huh? I'm going to make sure I'm put. That one, how much? Penta and a three thousand. How do you buy penta, mama? How do you buy penta? How do you sell? How do you sell? Yeah. Yeah. How do you buy penta, mama? So guys, after getting the crayfish, we went straight ahead to eat our market to get the foodstuffs, the remaining foodstuffs. So here we are. That's what you do. Um, I I at 350. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Take this one. Take this one. Take this one. Take this one. Hey! 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 H
Hi guys, so I'm done with my market uh, runs. I tried to get as much things as possible, but you know how it is. It was raining throughout the today. It was raining, and then by going into the market, you know, on a rainy day is quite um, it's quite uh, stressful. So, but I tried to get as much things as possible. I tried to get as much things as I could. And I'll be showing you that I'm going to be showing you what I got from the market because it's not actually easy. It was raining, it was raining. Everyone was just, just I don't know how to even explain it. So this is my vlog. I try. I went to the market twice. Yes, I went to the market twice. So I sectioned it. The one I went to get um crayfish and then um stockfish which is oboroko i went to oron to get that one and i'm going to be showing you and then the other ones i got from the main market they call it Ita market and then i went to um Okmanande. sorry i can I, I don't know if i'm pronouncing it very well so these are the two places i got the remaining stuffs so i'm just going to be showing you guys what i got the, the stuffs i got from the market so guys i am going to be showing you what i got from the market after my market runs these are the stuffs i was able to get now these are my market runs i had to split it into two like i said i got some items from upper landing and then i got some items from itam and then the crayfish and then the stockfish i got it from uh, oron so i'm just going to be taking you through what i got for this my journey so you know you have to get, have a lot of food stuffs so this is my yogu Ugu is one of the important things because most of my food, most of my soups I use, I like ugu soup a lot. So I made sure it was dried. The lady that I bought it from dried it from, uh, from home for me. And then she she basically just gave it to me when it was already fully dried. And I uh, dried it in my palo. Yes, my palo is empty. As you can see, it's empty. So it was a perfect space for me to... Um, to just dry these stuffs in so here is my this is my um this is my ugc i've not i've not grinded it yet i don't know if i'm going to grind it or not but because i'm still indecisive so but i think i'm going to divide it and then grind some and then leave some this is my obono i bought two painters of ugc and then one painter of obono because obono it seems to be more expensive so i bought obono and I bought a Gucci. These are my two favorite food. Not that I really like a Gucci, but the fact that it's something that you can just make do with any time when you have cravings. And then this is my this is my bitter leaf. I gave it to a lady to help me. They have it in their home. So I paid her to make to wash this bitter leaf for me. And then I don't know if the lady grinded it with grinder or something. Because if you're from like if you're Igbo or you're from Anambra, like my mom, she likes whatever whatever onugu you're doing. Let me use the word onugu. That's literally. It has to be like you have to have it in chunks so that it like when you're eating the soup, the onugu is also serving as meat. So what she did here is something I don't understand. But I'm still just going to manage it because I don't even have the love. The onugu is not like my favorite soup. Then over here we have my I have a fang, a fang soup because. Afang soup is like the favorite soup I love. Um, I love cooking. Like uh, one of the favorite soup in Uyo, I love. I enjoy eating. So I bought some afang soup. It's so funny that it's plenty, but I'll take it like that. Then here again we have ugu. Now ugu because everything I'm cooking, porridge or whatever, it has to have ugu in it. So that is why I bought ugu. So I bought some spices because basically my friend told me. Um, getting spices there is quite expensive and pricey so not really expensive or something but she just advised me to get some so i just got i got this no i got no maggie i got no maggie just i think three packs the other one is not here i got this jello fry spice i don't know i attracted to like i enjoy rice that is made with this spice so i find i found it in the market and i bought like three such it and i think that's going to be enough so this is my dry pepper this is my dry pepper basically yes so this is my fresh um 
red pepper this is the black one and then this is the red one so two pepper and that's enough i guess for me i bought benny spices because i love spices i love the spice in my food so i bought benny spices the carton but i've used inside <laughs> i've used from it but it's still going to serve i bought um curry i bought this i hope that's enough and i got um time so these are basically what i have then i have my dried okra it's little but i'm just going to manage because okra is my favorite favorite soup but i got some so probably when i'm traveling when it's close dates for my travel i'll still get other stuff then i bought such a tomato i bought juno i did not see the pepper and then i didn't see the pepper and then um, that's this one the pepper and onion mix i didn't see it so i bought it, it i think it's 50 pieces of tomato such a tomato in here so i just got um a carton and i'm going with it like i'm going with it so at least it's going to save me some some stress of money before i start buying anything so now for the section where i went to Oran to buy um for the section where i went to Oran to get was crayfish and then i bought crayfish and stockfish most importantly least crayfish and this is what i got this is all i got like i said i'm buying from my mom my aunts and my some of my family members so this is i bought three bags for my mom my aunts then one of my aunties and then this one is for me yes i'm going to the uk with one bag i'm going to be grinding half and then keeping one and keeping half so yes i just i love cooking with crayfish i don't even want it i know it's much but then in our run is so i think the prices are um are okay so i i just buy it this is all uh, like how i buy my crayfish then i also bought some spices too today okay so this is my stock fish let me show you guys it's dark in here but it's raining so this is my stock fish i have like seven heads of stock fish i'm going to be showing you guys when i'm packing i have like seven heads here so this is my stock fish this is gary like i bought just one paint of gary and then this is semo yes this is semo then this is all that spices i got mixed spices and korean time again and then i bought my ziploc bag ziploc bag because i heard if you're packing if you're packing anything that you're traveling with your food items your your dry food you're using a, a ziploc bag so i bought a ziploc bag for my packing so that is just it for yeah and i bought this bag this bag too yeah it's so funny but this bag is really expensive now okay it's really expensive so i bought it for my trip and that's what i'm going to be using to pack all my loads instead of putting it inside my air collab so i'm going to be using it so that is just it basically for what i got on the market so if you're in the uk and you need crayfish just send me a message send me a dm and i'll import one to you